Hey guys, what's up? Topic of this video is Egyptian fraction. Okay, actually, what is Egyptian fraction? Egyptian fraction is a, we can say is a sum of unit fractions. All Egyptians used to write a standard fraction just like this one as a sum of unit fractions. And what is a unit fraction? A fraction which has one in the numerator and here it can be anything in the denominator so this one is called a unit fraction so all Egyptians used to write the standard fractions as a sum of unit fractions just like this one or we can say just like this one okay there are a number of unit fractions okay so here we can write standard fractions as sum of unit fractions which is called Egyptian fractions let's see how to write a standard fraction as an Egyptian fraction here we have our first question 7 over 10 how to write this one okay uh, First of all, let's say uh, here we have 7 and if I divide 7 into 2 parts, let's say 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7 in our numerator and this 10 as it is in our denominator. Okay, uh, so why I have done this, uh, let me show you. Uh, first of all, if I separate this denominator or we can say I can write this denominator under each term in the numerator it means that here we have 5 over 10 and here we have 2 over 10 just like this one so why I have divided 7 into uh, this pair this 5 and this 2 why because I know that here 5 okay and here we have 10 so I know that here 10 is a multiple of 5 and this 10 is also a multiple of 2 so that's why I have divided this 7 into this pair of digits why because if I do simplification here let's say if I divide here this one if I divide the numerator and the denominator both by a same number let's say 5 so 5 divided by 5 will answer me 1 and 10 divided by 5 will answer me 2 okay so here we are left with 1 over 2 and this plus sign and, and here if I divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 so it will be equal to 1 and it will be equal to 5 so here we are left with 1 over 5 so that's why okay I have divided this by into 5 and 2 so that we can get unit fractions okay so I can say that I can write this 7 over 10 as a sum of unit fractions all right clear okay because here we know that 10 is a multiple of 5 and also 10 is a multiple of 2 so uh, if we simplify it we can get 1 in our numerator here so this is called Egyptian fraction clear okay now let's consider this question okay here we have 10 and 21 10 over 21 okay let's see here uh, you will be more clarified in this question here if we have 10 and if we have 21 first of all uh, can we divide 10 into two parts such that uh, this 21 is the multiple of these two or we can say or we can say the three numbers okay in our numerator let's say if I divide this 10 into 7 and 3 7 and 3 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 and also 7 and uh, we can say 21 is divisible by 7 or I can say 21 is a multiple of 7 and 21 is a multiple of 3 also okay so we can select this pair 
just see here we have 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 in the numerator and in the denominator we have 21 now if I separate this denominator it means that if I write this denominator under 7 and this 21 under 3 also so it is just like that now if we do simplifications here if I divide 7 by both the numerator and denominator I will get 1 over 3 and this plus sign and now if I divide uh, this uh, this numerator and this denominator by 3 I will get 1 over 7 clear so you can see I have written uh, this fraction this standard fraction as a sum of two unit fractions okay this is called Egyptian fraction clear I hope you are clear now let's see here we have 11 over 24 okay 11 over 24 now uh, uh, let's see let's divide 11 into two parts uh, if I take here 8 and 3 okay 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 okay and here we have 24 and also 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 and also 24 uh, is a multiple of 8 and 24 is a multiple of 3 also so we can take this pair okay so let's see here we have 8 and here we have 24 plus 3 over 24 so if I divide this fraction if I divide the numerator and denominator both by 8 I will get 1 over 3 and here if I divide this 3 over 24 this numerator and this denominator by 3 I will get 1 over 8 clear so that's how we can solve these uh, Egyptian fractions but uh, this process okay this thing is not applicable everywhere okay sometimes it is useful but sometimes it will not give a correct answer so let's see another technique to solve these let's consider our fraction here we have 7 over 8 all right here we have 7 over 8 first of all uh, let's see that here we have uh, number of fractions okay here we have 1 over 2 1 over 3 1 over 4 1 over 5 1 over 6 1 over 7 and so on okay and uh, if I write these fractions uh, in decimal forms you can see this here 1 over 2 is equal to 0 0.5 1 over 3 is equal to 0 0.33 1 over 4 is equal to 0 0.25 1 over 5 is equal to 0 0.2 and so on okay so actually you can see here that 1 over 2 is the greatest fraction we have which is equal to 0 0.5 there is no number uh, here okay actually if we go here in our ascending order we can say like this one in our fractions you can see if we go uh, higher here so our decimals will be smaller okay our decimal numbers will get smaller so here actually 1 over 2 is the largest number we have okay largest decimal number we have okay so okay you have seen this now let's come to this one here we have 7 over 8 if I write 7 over 8 in a decimal number okay here we will get 0 0.87 okay uh, you can do this from calculator or from manually so if I divide 7 or we can say if I write the fraction or if I divide 7 by 8 I will get 0 0.87 0 0.87 we have here and why I am doing this in the decimal form because uh, we can uh, get cleared from decimal numbers okay uh, it is difficult to say that whether 1 over 5 is greater or smaller than 7 over 8 okay but uh, it is easy to say that 0 0.5 is smaller than 0 0.87 you can see 0 0.5 is smaller than 0 0.87 okay it is easy to say now here 
uh, we have seven or eight okay so actually you know that we have to uh, write uh, the sum uh, sorry we have to write here the sum of unit fractions actually you can see these are all unit fractions I have written here okay so now what we will do here we have 7 or 8 or we can say 0 0.87 so we have to select a unit fraction which is just smaller than this number okay here we have to select a unit fraction from this okay which is just smaller than 0 0.8 you can see here 0 0.2 is also smaller than 0 0.87 0 0.25 is also smaller than 0 0.87 0 0.33 is also smaller than 0 0.87 0 0.5 is also smaller than 0 0.87 but you can see here actually 0 0.5 is just smaller than 0 0.87 okay 0 0.5 is just smaller than 0 0.87 so what I can write here I can take this unit fraction just like this one here we have 7 or 8 so what I will do I will select the uh, unit fraction which is just smaller than it which is 1 over 2 okay so this is our first unit fraction and now if we add here and other unit fraction okay or we can say if we add here and other fraction if we add this fraction into 1 over 2 we will get 7 or 8 okay if I add 1 over 2 into another fraction, we should get 7 or 8. So what is our uh, second fraction? Here, uh, it is not necessary to write a unit fraction in first, but in the end, uh, we will write here a unit fraction. First of all, let's see. Let's see that uh, here, what is the fraction here? If we, what is the fraction we should write here so that we can add it to 1 over 2 and we will get 7 over 8. For it, uh, let's consider this one. Let me write it here again. 7 over 8 is equal to 1 over 2 plus this fraction, okay? So let's consider this fraction be x. Okay, let this fraction be x. So here actually we have to find the value of x here. Okay, you are getting my point. First of all, we have to check that uh, which of the fraction is just smaller than this one. So 1 over 2 is just smaller than this one. So I will write this 1 over 2 here. And now I am going to add some fraction in it so that I will get 7 over 8. So this is the fraction x we have to add. Now to find the value of x, what we can do? We can subtract 1 over 2 from both sides. Okay. We have to subtract 1 over 2 from both sides. Here, let me subtract 1 over 2 from both sides. Okay, you, have, you can see here, I have subtracted 1 over 2 from both sides. So this positive of 1 over 2 is cancelled by this negative of 1 over 2. And here we are only left with x on the right side. And here, we have 7 over 8 minus 1 over 2. So to subtract this one, we have to make... Uh, the uh, denominators same okay to have uh, to subtract it we have to make the denominator same so let's make the denominator same here we have 8 and here we have 2 so if I multiply this 2 by 4 and so I will get here 8 okay if I multiply this 2 by 4 I will get 8 it means that uh, we can make our denominator same by multiply this by 4 Okay, so I, I am multiplying 2 by 4. It means that I also have to multiply the denominator by the same number, which is 4, so that our equation is balanced. Alright, so, so let me write here the remaining part of it. Okay, here we have 7 or 8, and here we have minus, and now you can see 1 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4. And 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8. Okay. And here we have is equal to x. Okay. So we can find the value of x by subtracting this one. Okay. Now let's see here we have a denominator same. So we can just subtract the numerators. Okay. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. 3 over 8. Okay. Here we have x. So actually this fraction, this one. 
this one will be equal to 3 over 8 okay this one will be equal to 3 over 8 so that if I add 102 and 3 over 8 we will get 7 over 8 clear but you can see this is not a unit fraction okay, this is not a unit fraction we have to make this one a unit fraction okay so what we will do we will repeat the process again we will take 3 over 8 okay we will take 3 over 8 and we have to uh, find unit fractions of this one if we have zero uh, if we have 3 over 8 uh, first of all we will see uh, we will use this method okay so we will see that uh, which fraction is just smaller than it or we can say which unit fraction is just smaller than it so zero uh, so 3 over 8 is equal to 0 0.37 Okay, 3 over 8 is equal to 0 0.37 and you can see here uh, if I take 1 over 3 which is equal to 0 0.33 1 over 3 which is equal to 0 0.33 so you can see this 1 over 3 or we can see this, uh, this 0 0.33 is just smaller than this 0 0.37 okay this 0 0.33 is just smaller than this 0 0.37 here so what I will do I will take this 3 over 8 and I will write this 3 over 8 as a product of unit fractions okay so the first unit fraction uh, which I will write here is that fraction which is just smaller than it you can see 1 over 3 which is 0 0.33 is just smaller than this one which is 0 0.37 so the first unit fraction I will write here is 1 over 3 okay and now we have to add a fraction in in 1 over 3 so that we can get 3 over 8 okay you are getting my point okay now we will do the same thing that I will consider this fraction bx here let me write 3 over 8 here we have 1 over 3 okay I will consider this fraction bx okay so it means that here we have to find the value of x Okay, so if I subtract 1 over 3 on both sides here, I will get 3 over 8 minus 1 over 3. And here we will only get x. Okay, it means that here if I subtract 1 over 3 from 1, if I subtract 1 over 3 on both sides here, we have 1 over 3. And on the right side of this equal to sign, this 1 over 2 is cancelled by the negative of 1 over 3. Okay, this 1 over 3 is cancelled by negative of 1 over 3. So here we will only get a positive of x okay now if I subtract uh, this so we have to make the denominator same okay so it means that here uh, to make the denominator same what we have to do here uh, I have to multiply this 8 by 3 okay and this 3 by 8 just like this one I have multiplied this 3 over 8 by 3 okay and I have multiplied this 1 over 3 by 8 so that our denominators will be same here so let me write here 3 3 is 9 9 over 24 and here minus 8 over 24 so you can see here our denominators is denominators are same okay by doing this so okay this one is equal to x okay so it means that here denominators are same I can just uh, subtract the numerators so 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 and oh, 24 as it is in the denominator so which is our value of x okay which is our value of x this one okay this one so it means that here the value of x is 1 over 24 okay which is this one which is this fraction so I can write here here 1 over 24 so you can see here that 1 over 24 is also a unit fraction and 1 over 3 is also a unit fraction so I have written this 3 over 8 as a unit fraction as a sum of unit fractions now what we will do our uh, original question was 7 over 8 So I will uh, write 
this unit fractions i will write the value of 3 over 8 in this i will put the value of 3 over 8 in this question so that we can get our answer so 7 over 8 is equal to 1 over 2 plus okay 1 over 2 plus this 3 over 8 so actually this 3 over 8 is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 24 clear okay clear okay so I have written this 7 or 8 as a sum of 3 unit fractions 1 over 2 1 over 3 and 1 over 24 okay uh, uh, let's consider if I have a question let me move it first okay uh, if I have this question 2 over 3 okay so if I divide this 2 into 2 parts let's say 1 plus 1 okay 1 plus 1 over 3 okay so it means that if I separate this 3 in the denominator which is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 so you can see these are unit fractions although but this is incorrect answer of this one this is not the Egyptian fraction of this one because here uh, the fractions are similar okay here we should uh, we should write those fractions which are distinct okay so this is not the answer okay we can solve it by some other way just like this one by using this clear okay now let's consider this part here we have 23 over 24 okay now we have this part so we will consider uh, this part by doing this method first of all uh, let's see that here uh, 23 over 24 is actually equal to 0 0.95 okay 0 0.95 so 23 over 24 is equal to 0 0.95 so we have to select a unit fraction which is just smaller than this one which is just smaller than this one so you can see 0 0.5 is actually just smaller than 0 0.97 so here I will take this unit fraction 1 over 2 it means that here 23 over 24 I can write this one as a sum of unit fractions so first unit fraction which I am going to write here is this one which is just smaller than 0 0.97 okay here now we have to write another unit fraction so that their sum will be equal to our original question okay so let's consider this one let's consider this fraction be x so we have to find the value of x here okay just like this one x plus 1 over 2 is equal to 23 over 24 so to find the value of x we have to subtract 1 over 2 on both sides here if I subtract 1 over 2 on both sides I will get here I will get here on the left hand side like this and here on the right hand side I will only left with X okay now uh, uh, to make the denominators equal I will multiply this 2 by 12 so that we will get here 24 in the denominator so here we have 23 and here we have 24 so if I multiply this 2 by 12 and this also numerator by 12 okay let me write here so here we have 23 over 24 but here we have 12 over 24 which is the value of x okay so here let's see here we have 23 okay minus 12 here 23 minus 12 23 minus 12 is equal to 11 and here we have 24 in the denominator which is the value of x okay so here actually our value of x is equal to 
11 over 24. Let me write here. Okay. So, 11 over 24 is our value. Okay. So, uh, let me raise it first. Okay. So, we have to write 1 over 2 and 11 over 2 so that we will get here 23 over 24. But this is not a unit fraction we have. So, first of all, we will write this one as a sum of unit fractions. So, let's see. Okay. You, uh, you can see this that this is our question here. This is our previous question, okay? Here, 11 over 24, which we are solving right now. Here, it was our previous question, okay? So, uh, we have done it just like that. Here, we have 8 plus 3 over 24, okay? We have done it like that. So, after simplifying it, I will get here 1 over 3 plus 1 over 8 okay okay so we have done this by by uh, we can say dividing it into parts okay but we can also do this one we can also do this one with this method okay with this method how to do it the process is same we have to consider this 11 over 24 okay and uh, 11 over 24 and we have to take a fraction which is just smaller than it so uh, let's see here we have 11 over 24 which is equal to 0 0.45 okay 0 0.45 so 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.45 so we can't take this unit fraction here 0 0.33 is a fraction or we can say here this is a number 0 0.33 which is just smaller than 0 0.45 so we can take this unit fraction 1 over 3 so it means that here i can write 11 over 24 as a sum of unit fractions so first unit fraction is 1 over 3 which is just smaller than it okay now here we have to write this fraction okay so for this what we can do here i'm doing it directly here actually i if i subtract 1 over 3 Okay, if I subtract 1 over 3 from 11 over 24, okay, you just imagine here, I have subtracted 1 over 3 on both sides, okay, I have subtracted 1 over 3 on both sides, okay, so here, the left hand side of the equal to sign will be this, and right hand side of the is equal to sign will be equal to this x, okay, now, if we subtract this one, we will get our value of x, so let's see here we have 11 over 24 and to make the denominators uh, same if I multiply numerator and denominator by 8 I will get 8 over 24 okay I will get 8 over 24 here which is equal to 3 over 24 okay which is equal to 3 over 24 okay now actually the value of x is equal to 3 over 24 after subtracting these two clear now this is a unit fraction or not okay by looking at this uh, you might be thinking that this is not a unit fraction but we can simplify it because both the numerator and denominator are actually divisible by 3 okay both the numerator and denominator are actually divisible by 3 so if I divide this 3 by 3 and this one 4 by 3 so I will get here 1 over 8 okay which is a unit fraction so actually our value of x is equal to 1 over 8 okay so I can write here 1 over 8 so you can see here the uh, from this method by dividing the numerator or by solving like this one we will get same results okay we will get same results in this case but this is not applicable or we can say here we will not get the same results every time okay the results can be changed here okay let's see okay so here the value of 11 over 24 is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 8 so let me replace this okay so let me write here 1 over 3 plus 1 over 8 okay 
so you can see I have uh, I have written this 23 over 24 as a sum of three unit fractions clear all right okay so I hope you are understanding this now let's consider our next part here we have 5 over 18 all right okay here we have 5 over 18 now uh, let's see that uh, first of all we will do this uh, this question by this technique it means that if I divide uh, 5 by 18 it is equal to 0 0.27 okay 0 0.27 so I have to take a unit fraction which is just smaller than it you can see here actually uh, 0 0.25 is just smaller than 0 0.27 so here I can I can write this 5 over 18 as a sum of this unit fraction which is just smaller than it which is 1 over 4 and some other fraction okay and to find this fraction we have to subtract 1 over 4 from 5 over 18 okay or you can consider it that, that here uh, we have subtracted 1 over 4 from both sides here okay so we will get here the value of this fraction which we can say as x okay so if i subtract this 1 over 4 from 5 over 18 okay so uh, here we have to make the denominators same okay uh, so uh, here uh, let's see if uh, if we have 5 over 18 and 1 over 4 i will get here uh, 36 okay in the denominator it means that here I have to multiply this by 2 so that we will get 36 here okay and here I have to multiply this by 9 so that we will get 36 okay you're getting my point to make the denominator same so 5 to the 10 over 36 and 9 over 36 okay so after subtracting it we will get the value of x denominators are the same so we can just subtract the numerator so 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 and over 36 which is the value of x okay which is the value of x so actually here this one this one is the value of x so actually this one is equal to 1 over 36 okay this one is equal to 1 over 36 clear okay so I have written this 5 over 18 uh, as a sum of your fraction by using this technique okay okay now uh, if we want to solve this 5 over 18 5 over 18 uh, by dividing the numerator okay not every time here the numerator is uh, it can be divisible okay okay here but sometimes the numerator can be divisible or we can say we can divide numerator sometimes to solve this Egyptian's fractions so let's say if I divide this 5 as 3 plus 2 over 18 okay 3 plus 2 over 18 so now if I write here 18 under 3 and here 18 under 2 so now you can see here 3 and 18 are um, uh, we can say are both divisible by 3 so if I divide 3 and 18 by 3 I will get here 1 over 6 okay and here 2 and 18 are also divisible by 2 so I can divide 2 and 18 by 2 here I will get 1 over 9 so actually you can see here 1 over 6 and 1 over 9 are also unit fractions okay uh, which uh, also unit fractions of the same number okay here I can say that here 5 over 9 is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 36 okay and here also 5 over 18 is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 9 
okay sometimes both the methods will give us same answer but sometimes it will give us different answer and here both the answers are correct okay both the answers are correct here this is also uh, correct Egyptian fraction and this is also correct Egyptian fraction okay I hope you are cleared from it because in the previous question we will get same results from uh, both of uh, these fractions okay or we can say from both of these methods but here this time we will uh, we are getting different fractions from this one this same fraction okay clear now let's consider our this question last question here we have 19 over 70 okay so first of all uh, let's do this 19 over 70 from this method okay all right here actually 19 over 70 is equal to 0 0.27 okay 0 0.27 okay now uh, we have to select a unit fraction which is just smaller than it you can see 0 0.25 is just smaller than this 0 0.27 so it means that here i can write 19 over 70 as a uh, sum of 1 over 4 and some other fraction okay and some other fraction all right so here uh, if we find the value of x here or we can say if we find the value of uh, this fraction here uh, what we have to do we have to subtract uh, 1 over 4 okay from 19 over 70 so okay so here uh, I'm doing it directly so here this time I will get here 3 over 140 okay 3 over 140 so uh, let's say if uh, now if ha uh, if we divide uh, or we can say uh, if we write this 3 over 140 in the unit fractions by using this technique here 3 over 140 so it means that we have to write uh, 3 over 140 as a sum of unit fractions so what is the first unit fraction I can write here? Uh, let's see first 3 over 140 is equal to 0 0.021. It means that we have to select a unit fraction which is just smaller than 0 0.021. Okay. Uh, uh, if I write here for 2 eight five seven one okay i'm going in detail okay so actually one over 47 okay one over 47 is the unit fraction which is just smaller than this unit fraction how let's say it's 0 0.02127 okay and let me write other numbers also okay first of all you can see that here this zero is same this zero is same this 0 0.21 is same this 0 0.21 is same now where is the difference okay our difference is in this part 4 and 2 okay okay actually uh, the more we are going up here uh, we have to write here more number of decimal okay here so that we can compare it easily okay so you can see actually that 1 over 47 is just smaller than this 3 over 140. So it means that here I will write this 3 over 140 as a sum of 1 over 47 plus an other fraction. Okay, plus an other fraction. So what is our another fraction? For this, actually, uh, we have to divide sorry we have to subtract 1 over 47 from this 3 over 140 so if I subtract 1 over 47 from 3 over 40 I will get this fraction let's say this one is x this one as 1 over 
6580 okay it's 1 over 6580 which is a unit fraction we have okay which is a very small number we can say which is a very small decimal number so i can write this six part is uh, one over six five eight zero here and i can say that three over one forty is actually equal to the sum of one over forty seven and one over six five eight zero okay so i can write the value of three over one forty here let me write it okay what which is one over forty seven plus one over six five eight zero <laughs> okay so you can see here i have written uh, 19 over 70 as a sum of unit fractions okay uh, which is very difficult here okay because it, you can see this one is a, a very small number but if if we solve this one 19 over 70 by dividing the numerator okay by dividing the numerator here you can see here we have 70 okay so if i divide 19 such that 14 plus 5 is equal to 19 which is our numerator and also 70 is a multiple of 14 and 17 is a multiple of 5 okay so that it means that if we simplify it we can get unit fraction which is more easier to us it means that here if i write 7, 14 over 70 and 5 over 70 okay 14 over 70 and 5 over 70 here we have so after simplifying it it means that i can multiply 14 over 70 or we can say both the numerator and denominator by 14 so i will get here 1 over 5 and here if i divide both the numerator and denominator this one by 5 i will get 1 over 14 okay which is also a sum of unit fraction or we can say egyptian fraction so you can see here uh, we have done it uh, in a minute okay and it was too easy but here uh, it was long and also it is tough clear okay so we can uh, use any of the method here which is more easier to us but 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 okay it is not applicable every time okay this is not applicable every time sometimes you can do this sometimes it is not possible to do like this one okay sometimes we have to choose some other method here clear all right sometimes we have to use this one uh, because this is the only method uh, we can solve from it okay clear so i hope you are getting up this point okay so egyptian fractions writing a fraction is 10 fraction as a sum of different unit fractions clear that's it for this video Access the entire Mathematics Demystified course at learneasy.us.